Hey there, it's Jess Blanche here, EFT practitioner and coach, and today I want to give you a little intro into EFT, and if you're new to tapping, then you'll definitely want to start here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified of new tapping videos posted every Tuesday. And before we jump into what the F EFT really is, I want to give you a little intro into who I am and the results that I've gotten with EFT and why I love it so much. I've been an entrepreneur since 2015, so a few years now, and it had been really hard for me to get ahead in my business. I was doing all the things I thought I should, all the things that coaches told me to do, and I was implementing like every strategy I knew of, and I wasn't really getting anywhere. And you know you always hear that it starts with the inner work, and that is so, so true. So when I started tapping for my business mindset, everything turned around and it turned around like that. So I had a lot of money mindset issues. Um, I had a lot of beliefs that it was very hard to sign clients and just a lot of different beliefs and behavior patterns that were not helping me get ahead in my business. Once I started tapping on these things, I legit went from not signing any clients for four months to signing about 25 in a three week period and I've been consistently growing my business for months now. I have not been implementing any new strategies at all. This was simply from shifting my mindset and my energy through tapping. So this is one reason I really love tapping with people on their business mindset and helping them uh, do the inner work needed to be able to get ahead in their business through coaching and EFT. I've also used EFT for anxiety and some other triggers from trauma that I've had. And tapping for things like anxiety or trauma or any other emotions like anger or jealousy or frustration, anything like that, tapping is going to work wonders for you. And when you combine tapping with coaching, then you can get to the real root of what the issue is and clear it out. Sometimes it only takes just one tapping session to do this, and other times it takes uh, multiple rounds of tapping. But EFT has worked quicker for me and for my clients to clear out old limiting beliefs and start releasing resistance and to start attracting what you want, creating what you want in life faster than anything else that I found and faster uh, than things my clients have found. People will come to me after trying everything and not seeing any results and then just one, two, three tapping sessions with me and things start changing for them. It's really incredible. So let's get into it. What is EFT? EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Technique, or you could also call it tapping because you're literally tapping on different points of your body. EFT combines mindset work, psychology, with energy work. So our bodies have an energy meridian, and this is just like the way your energy flows through your body, kind of like your energy superhighway. So when you have any limiting beliefs or like emotional traumas happen, this not only affects your mind, but it affects your energy as well. And what happens is in certain energy meridian points in your body, your energy is not going to flow the way it's supposed to and sometimes can get blocked entirely. So if you think about acupuncture, what acupuncturists are doing is they're putting little needles into different energy meridian points in your body. And what this does is it releases that energy. It frees the energy up to flow the way it's supposed to flow. It literally unblocks your blocks. Now, when you're tapping, obviously you're not using needles. You're just using your fingers and you're applying pressure. So it's like acupressure on these energy points, which works just as well as acupuncture. Now, when you are combining this acupressure with your mindset work, that's how you get such transformational and profound shifts so quickly because not only are you working on what's going on in your mind, but you're clearing it out of your energetic body at the same time. So how do you tap? 
There are a number of tapping points on your body, and in these YouTube videos, I'm going to use the same handful of points each time. Now, I just want to stress that you may see different practitioners using different points, and everyone has their own style, right? So you'll just want to find a practitioner that you can really relate to and that you connect with the way that they are tapping. There really is no right or wrong. You can leave some points out, you can add in a bunch of other points, and as long as you're using the basic algorithm, which I'll get to in a minute, um, then the tapping's gonna be working for you. So you'll start tapping with your first two fingers, and for the amount of pressure you wanna use, it's just like you're lightly tapping someone on the shoulder. You don't need to pound on yourself at all. Uh, it's just a light tap. Now the first point that we'll start with is the karate chop point. And this is going to be um, on the fleshy part on the side of your hand. Now you can use your right hand or your left hand. So if you're tapping right-handed or left-handed, it does not matter at all. And it's the point is just right in the center of this fleshy part. Now if you start tapping here, you'll notice that when you hit an energy meridian point, that point's going to feel just a little bit more sensitive or tender than the other points around it. So you'll probably pretty quickly find this one. And this karate chop point, this is called a psychological reversal point. So if you have a particularly sticky limiting belief and one or two rounds of tapping doesn't really do it for you, you can always start and end with this point and it sort of just resets all of your energy and it's really going to help that sticky limiting belief let go and clear. So this is why I always like to start and finish with this psychological reversal point or the karate chop point. Now the next point we're going to move to is the top of the head. So if you just start tapping around, you'll find the point. It's pretty much right in the middle of your head. So if you find the crown of your head and move just a little bit forward, it's going to be right there. Now moving on to the face, we're going to tap on the eyebrow point next. So it's this bone right where your eyebrow starts. And then after that, we're going to move to the side of the eye, which if you find your temple, just move forward to that bone that's on the corner of your eye there. And then the next point is under the eye. So you'll follow that bone around just below your eye and tap there gently. And then the next point is going to be under the nose. So it's midway between uh, the bottom of your nose here and the top of your lip. And if you have nails, you can always tap like this. And same with the chin point. It's pretty much right where this crease is in your chin. And then the next point is going to be the collarbone point. So if you find the ends of your collarbone, it's really just right below the ends of your collarbone. And again, it doesn't matter if you use both hands, one hand, you can use your whole hand here. I've seen people knock, whatever works for you. And then the next point we'll use is under the arm. So if you wear a bra, it's right about where your bra strap would hit. If not, it's about an armpit and a half down a hand and a half down from your armpits. And then after that, we'll finish off at the karate chop point. And that's one full round of tapping. If any of these points are uncomfortable for you to reach or you don't have the mobility, that's okay. You can actually close your eyes and just visualize yourself tapping on this point and that's actually going to work. All right, now when you begin tapping, we're gonna have a tapping script. And the tapping script is just what you say at each point. As you go through this tapping script and you're tapping on your meridian points, you're going to feel your energy shifting. So really common things to expect, yawning, possibly burping, sighing, feeling weepy, laughing even, and feeling tired, and possibly even having a headache after the tapping session. Don't be alarmed, these are all totally normal things to experience, and if you experience any of these things, that is a good sign. It means that the tapping is working, that you actually have hit the nail on the head with, with your tapping script. These are really just symptoms that your energy is starting to flow, and so it it takes it out of you. So that's why you're a little bit tired afterwards. Always make sure to drink a lot of water when you're tapping and throughout the rest of the day. And 
don't feel the need to do any more mindset work. I know that if you're really into personal growth, personal development, you may be inclined to journal a whole bunch or you know say affirmations or anything else, but trust that the tapping is doing its work. Allow about 24 hours for the integration process to occur and just let yourself chill out and know that you've done enough. So that's a quick little intro into EFT. If you have any questions at all, just drop them in the comments. I'd love to chat. I'd love to get to know you guys. And I will see you next Tuesday for your next video. Bye.